This is Fox Pro's Mr. Mouthy Howler. It's a three-in-one howler with a variety of accessories that come with this. So it's really a great bang for your buck to create a variety of coyote vocalizations. We're going to go into a little bit more detail to cover this thing and kind of show you how to make some of those coyote vocalizations with all of the tools that are supplied in this howler. The mouthpiece cover, the horn with the open reed howler and tone board in it, and then the latex mouthpiece howler. And then we also got the diaphragm to read smoking gun howler from Fox Pro. What's really cool about this thing is instead of, you know, you're out there calling in the field, you get a lot of dust and wind blowing around, but you can put the mouthpiece cover on there just to keep it clean. This tone board howler just simply half turn counterclockwise and comes right out. It's got a larger reed. It also has a raised ridge on that tone board to prevent it from freezing to that tone board. What I like to do when I'm blowing an open reed call is I, if you stay down towards the base of the reed, you're going to get those growls or deeper barks out of the, out of the call. Towards the end, it's going to be higher pitched with an open reed design like this. But I like to use my tooth to kind of hold that, hold that reed down. And the one thing I would suggest doing first, if you want to use your tooth or your upper lip, whatever you want to do, I kind of try to hold a note just to kind of hear what that thing sounds like, hear what tone I want to get in a Kaya vocalization and uh, I just try to hold that down and blow a straight note. So if I can hold a steady note, that's kind of where I'm going to know where I need to be at on that tone board. Is right here in the middle is kind of where I want to be for that pitch for that coyote howl. So I'm going to start down at the base and do a real quick slide back to the middle and hold that down. So it's going to be a bark and a howl. Now obviously I can get a lot louder on that thing um, if I would like to, but you can also do Kai eyes or pup distress sounds and it would sound something similar to this and it's just going to be very quick sliding the tone board um, to get different a variety of pitches, a bark, a growl, and then some high pitched yips. So that's the open read tone board and the howler that comes with it. Now you can also take some of our 4K9 tone boards or the 4K9 pup and put them in the end of this mouthpiece to put inside the horn here on the Mr. Mouthy. So you can get a variety of different Kaya vocalizations. You can use your other calls too. The next one is the latex mouthpiece and again that's just going to be a simple straight down and then a half turn clockwise to lock it in. The latex howler is a very uh, familiar type of mouthpiece for howling for kites. So a lot of guys uh, like this style of, of howler. Um, it can generate some very good vocalizations and pup distress especially. So let's demonstrate that. Now you can do a pup distress or a hurt kite. And that's the latex mouthpiece. But honestly, probably one of my favorites is definitely the diaphragms with this type of howler and this horn here with the Mr. Mouthy. And this is just the smoking gun. It's a double, double reed latex reed, regular frame design, but it just is a, a little bit easier for me to get better inflection into my house, to create a little bit of a flutter in there to sound a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to demonstrate that. And uh, to tell you, if you're, if you're a turkey caller, I like to refer to it as turkey calling, which I grew up doing. And uh, if you're able to turkey call, you literally should be able to coyote how very quickly. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but you know, if you sit in your truck on the way to work and blow this thing and try to do some coyote howls for a week or two, I promise you, you'll be, you'll be sounding like a coyote in no time. This is going to go to the top of your roof pallet, and you're going to lay your tongue on the bottom of the reed. And what you want to say to do a coyote bark is hut, 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 hut. And it really, there's a lot of that that comes out of the diaphragm is how I've experienced it or how I do it. So to get different barks in that, I get that hut, hut, and then your hut, hut, whoo. So a lot of pressure out of your diaphragm um, to get those really good, the good inflection into the how. So this is all I'll demonstrate for you. And this is the smoking gun which comes with the Mr. Mouthy.
So you could do some little bit more uh, aggressive howls, like a challenge howl, or uh, you know, with a bark in front of it and a little bit of a, a growl. I'll also demonstrate a pup to stretch, which I feel has a very good representation of a hurt coyote with these mouth calls, and it sounds something like this. And that's the Mr. Mouthy and what comes with it and kind of how to do a little bit of coyote vocalizations. I realize some people are much more advanced, but these are kind of the basic tools to get started. Good luck in the field using the Mr. Mouthy this season.